Hi everyone, today's tutorial is about running startup scripts on your virtual machine. Before starting the tutorial, uh, what are startup scripts? As the name suggests, these are the scripts to do something automatically when you first start a system so that you don't have to do it manually every time. Startup scripts can perform many actions such as installing software, performing updates, turning on services and any other task defined in the script. So for example, if you want a virtual machine instance with Apache 2 installed, you can use startup scripts to do the same. There are two ways to install Apache 2 on your virtual machine. You can either SSH into your machine once it starts and then install Apache 2 giving commands. Or the automated way is to use startup scripts so that you don't have to SSH into virtual machine to install Apache 2. Now that you're familiar with what startup scripts are and why they're used, Let's get on with the hands-on and let's just try to run a startup script using a virtual machine. So select the project you're working, you want to work in. I've already selected my project. You can select the project from this drop-down menu here. We'll click on the navigation menu. Go to Compute Engine to create a VM instance. and I'll click on create instance. I'm just going to go with the default settings. I'm going to allow HTTP traffic and then I'm going to give uh, the script. I'm going to add the script here under startup script section. So this is the script that I'm going to use. I'm just going to copy this and paste it right here and I'm going to click on create if you guys want to use the same script I'm going to give the link of the script in the description box below and you can use the same script but if you guys want to use your own script you are free to do so So once the instance is ready, it might take up to a minute to reflect the uh, to reflect the script that you used. Let's just see if the script is installed. It, it takes up to a minute because it will first install your Apache 2, it will install all your repositories and then it will create an index.html file in it. So it might take up to a minute or so. There we go. The script worked. We've successfully used the startup script. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope you've followed my tutorial and you've performed the hands-on yourself. Do it few more times. You'll, you'll be uh, comfortable with it. You'll be able to run your own startup scripts. Uh, that's all for today. See you till next time.